What's up folks? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are working on ripping out the interior of the scamp. We've kind of already done some work in the background just because most of the time when I get up it's dark. Um, so yeah, I will show you the interesting discoveries that we've made from this bad boy. Alright, so hopping straight into it, you can see some nastiness. That mixed with this lovely floor rot, I mean that's just pudding. Then we make it to the linoleum. Absolute filth. Like I probably shouldn't be touching this right now. But everything under that linoleum is the garbage. Luckily, this all looks good, so that's a positive. That's just some resin, so that's not rot or anything like that. Um, we've taken this whole cabinet out. That was quite the adventure. Um, these were a lot easier because they just screw in here. These were the ones that were like riveted into the ceiling. Um, we've removed all of this, so this whole corner, these corners look good, but we will go into here, which is one of the nastiest portions. It smells absolutely atrocious in here. So you can see it is just absolutely rotted to the core. So that section is rotted and then also under here is also rotted. So all of these cabinets will be coming out. This cabinet will be coming out and this section, so luckily this whole floor is in sections so you can see where this like sealant line is, that's all a big section so this wall will have to be replaced, that little corner will have to be replaced um, this will for sure have to be replaced um, but yeah so that has been my fun with the scamp um, Am I starting to regret this project? Maybe a little bit. It is way more than I bargained for. I mean, just drilling out all of these little rivets alone was quite the task. Um, we had to get a ladder. So, yeah, this is, this is much, much more of a project than I initially bargained for, but I own it. Um, not much I can do about it now, unless one of you guys wants to buy this scamp. I will sell it to you for what I paid for it. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all right now. I will be, right now it's Wednesday, so this uh, Saturday and Sunday, for sure I'll be going ham. On the inside, I'll kind of take you along with me as we rip more of the interior out, show you what all goes into it. But yeah, as of now, I've got a small group to catch, so just thought I would give you guys a little update um, on what we've been working on. Welcome back. You can see the garage is full of scant parts and that is because we finally have the interior pretty much pulled out. Um, I'll show you the mess that I've got going. Here on my driveway. We've got a lot of this nasty linoleum pulled out officially. Um, so yeah, let's get to the inside. Alright, now that we're here on the inside, you can see the wreck that has been caused. I cannot figure out how to get that cabinet out. That's the one that sits right here. I cannot, this one is way too big to fit through the door. So I'm going to have to end up replacing that floor because as you can see, this is like truly rotted out. Um, there's like holes going to the outside. Super nasty. Um, honestly, now that I've gotten all the stuff out. It smells a lot better. This will be huge for the program. Moving over here, this is just dirt and stuff from my shoes, but this section actually looked pretty dang good. So the linoleum had like this little wooden thing on the bottom of it. That one was all um, kind of rotted out on there. So I think those are salvageable, but this is not. So we're going to get in there. Um, interestingly enough, you can see here, um, the wood is actually fiberglass to this fender. So you go on the underside and do a bunch of bolts and then 
you gotta come up here, cut all this fiberglassing off. We'll have to re-fiberglass that. Um, but this is one long piece. So from there, and you can see the differences in the wood. This is a good piece of wood. This is a bad piece of wood. So it looks like this has all been replaced before. Even like the floor right here that I'm standing on. Um, but maybe even that too, because that looks pretty good. So this has all mostly been replaced. I'm assuming they didn't replace this one because it was a super big pain to get that out. Um, yeah, so that's the update that I have for you now. I'll hop back on and kind of, once things are more buttoned up and we get this floor replaced, we'll do uh, another video doing the, the floor and like not the actual stuff floor, but the like linoleum or vinyl flooring on the bottom. So this is the update for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. All right, I thought that was going to be it for the day. Uh, I've been working on this thing since like 9 a.m. It is currently, I don't know if you can see that, 4 p.m., a little after. Um, but yeah, so I've been in here, figured out some things. So we had a stuck um, screw there, so we had to like drill it out. But here's my progress here. So I've got a lot of this fiberglass trimmed off. Um, but if you looked up here, you can see the whole thing, like the wood is fiberglass to the wall. So, I've already kind of done this side, but I've dremeled all of that out. So hopefully that's enough to separate it. We'll find out here in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got going so far. I'm like, I'm going to do that little side there and see what we can't do to get this thing pulled out. got working with here. This part is completely separated, which is not ideal because um, I kind of need all of this wood for a template on what to cut. So we're going to try not to absolutely destroy all of that. But oh, here we go. Yeah, I think. Oh, baby. Yeah, so right on the. Yeah, so we need to cut a little bit more on the side, but um, this has gone exactly how I hoped. So that fiberglass is like the resin in between. Um, the floor and the walls are breaking right on that cut line that I did with the Dremel. So ideally, after we cut a little bit out of that corner, we should be good to go. <laughs> Could this be the moment of truth? Alright, that side is free. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh! I just realized I lost half of my mask. So, as you can see, we're almost free here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's disconnected. You can tell on the other side there's nothing really holding on. Um, so let's pull all these screws off that way. When we finish this project up, nothing goes on the butt. So, just a little more. Ah, and there it is. The floor is out with zero damage to the body. That's what you like to see. Ah. Oh. All right, here we'll show you what we're working with. Here we go, here's, we're gonna tip that little bit of the floor out. It'll be pretty easy to get out. 
But here is the blue well. Uh, looks like these wires go to the brakes. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to go in there and do something to that. But here it is. The floor is out. Super exciting. Um, in good enough condition where we can for sure make a template using some more plywood. But yeah, it is now, it's only 10 minutes after I filmed the clip where it was four o'clock, but I think that's probably where I'm gonna end today as I don't have any plywood and no real plan after that. I didn't really plan on taking that out today, but I couldn't just sit around with more daylight. So we'll give you a bottom view. There's all the crap, but as you can see, maybe. Yeah, lighting's pretty bad under here, but there's the hole through the floor. So, lovely. There's the floor sticking out there. Yeah, we've gotten the floor out. I might go ahead and take the other one out. This one wasn't too hard. Um, this one will probably come out too, as it looks to be the only one that hasn't been replaced somewhat recently. So, we'll probably end up yanking that section out as well. So, kind of exciting, but... Yeah, maybe I'll work on getting the rest of the floor out today and then tomorrow the other side and then we'll give another update. But yeah, I think this is actually see you later for now. All right, I know I said I was done, but I'm not. Um, it's Sunday now, so the next day I've been working on the scamp pretty much all day after church. Um, big updates with the flooring that I will show you now. So as you can see here, we've already been cutting this out. Um, this is the floor that we took out yesterday. This is the opposite side. I decided it should probably come out as well. You can see it's kind of moldy and nasty. So decided it was better to do now rather than just to leave it um, all taken out there. But you can see the new floor. Obviously I haven't stained it or um, fiberglassed it in yet. But there it is. It looks really stinking good this i kind of did a wide cut there but you can see the previous board was cut to there so not a huge deal we'll just fiberglass resin that um and call that good but yeah i'm about to set you guys up while i cut this one out and trace it up kind of show you guys the process but yeah uh let's get to it all right, I've got you guys all set up on my trash can to kind of show you the process that I've been doing to cut these out. Um, it's not rocket science, but also I've never done anything like this before. So if you're going, oh, easy for him to do because he knows what he's doing, wrong. I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, let's do it. The first step here is to trace out the old floor. That way we can cut the new one out. Now that we've got it all traced out, we're going to just hit it with the jigsaw, get it cut out. Also super stoked because I got a new mask. The thing is much better than my Harbor Freight one. Just like that, we're done. Let's see if it fits. All right, here you go, final fitment. This looks pretty dang good. 
there's a little gap right here because there's a screw under there I need to cut off. But, I mean, that little light there will be blocked by sealant. But honestly, butts up against there really nicely. Yeah, I'm, that cuts a little wank, but whatever. Pretty stoked with how that has turned out. Yeah, ignore that mess. Once all of this is, so we're gonna take this out, stain it. Same with this big piece. Once we get them stained, we will then move on to actually putting this whole thing back together and then flooring. And then we're back to a functional camper. So that's kind of exciting. I think this is actually it for this vlog. Um, it may be a long one, who knows? There might be footage I don't include, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.